Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Katie Kromick. I am the instructor for design thinking for social innovation. Um, I wanted to just share a quick welcome and a little bit about myself. Um, I won't talk about anything about the course in this video, but if you go to week one, there will be a launch video that will help orient you to the project and the course and everything we're going to be doing together. Um, but for now, I just wanted to in introduce myself. So my name is Katie Kromick. Um, I've been teaching this course for a number of years as an adjunct. Um, I'm based in Portland, Oregon, um, and I have worked in the field of design thinking and social innovation for over a decade. Um, my current day job is I am a program officer focused on invention education at the Lemelson Foundation um, based here in Portland. Um, but working nationally and internationally. Um, and at the Lemelson Foundation, we believe in improving lives through invention. Um, and I work in K-12 education. So how might we create learning environments and learning experiences that allow students to think of themselves as inventive, creative problem solvers who are able to make uh, the world a better place through their ideas and their actions? Um, so, uh, that's what I'm currently doing, uh, before this role, this is my first job in philanthropy. Um, I had been a practitioner in the field. Most of my career had been spent in education. So I started out as a classroom teacher. I helped found a small, um, independent school in Walla Walla, Washington, where I went to college. Um, and then, uh, right around the time that I came into the workforce, uh, was the time around the time that No Child Left Behind was being implemented. Um, and I saw No Child Left Behind as um, problematic in terms of creating the kinds of liberatory um, and empowering, self-actualizing learning environments that I believed were key to education and helping um, all people kind of find their their path to thriving. And so I've been spent my career working kind of in and outside of the education system, asking questions about how to make it more student centered um, and worked for a while at a nonprofit that matched middle school kids with apprenticeships in their dream jobs and did program design and curriculum development and kind of expansion work with them. I found myself eventually at the D school at Stanford, which is the kind of uh, global hub for um, teaching design thinking, um, which is a process you're going to learn in this class. I was working in the K-12 group, so I was training educators and school leaders on how to use design thinking, both to teach students differently and to try and make change in the system. Um, and since then, um, I've moved around a little bit, following my partner who is an academic, but landed back in the Northwest in Portland um, and uh, have spent time leading teams uh, who are interested in making systems change uh, to create systems that are more equitable and use design to do that. So worked on um, a project around eliminating expansion, ex expulsions and suspensions in Dallas um, independent school district in Texas, um, worked on a project here in Oregon to help the process of um, accrediting daycare and child care centers um, to be more equitable um, process, uh, and uh, worked on some international development projects with the Aga Khan Foundation, um, which is headquartered in Geneva and works in East Africa, South Asia, Central Asia, um, doing development projects. And they hired me um, to help them build capacity around doing those projects in a more community-driven, participatory way. Um, so I have, have done a, a number of projects with them as well. Um, so that's a bit about me. I'm so excited to be working with you. Um, look forward to meeting all of you in um, office hours and looking at uh, your work and engaging you online. Um, and thanks for joining us.